Hello YouTube, my name is Plazukas. Today's video is going to be on your boy Tectone getting into a drama baited video with Gotcha Smack related to the Zenless Zone Zero Street Fighter collab. Now, if you are thinking that this is deja vu, that whenever a game releases, there seems to be this fabricated drama that gets stirred up to maybe generate hype um, for the game and for the community that's going to cover the game, i.e. Gotcha Smack and Tectone. Well, I think you could probably just chuck that down to it's most likely on purpose. But I want to react to these videos because I think it makes my point even more clearer about Tectone. And Gotcha Smack in this video actually does push back on Tectone. And it's something that, you know, outside of my particular videos and when Tectone used to react to my videos or talk to me, which he doesn't anymore, um, I would do. And the fact that Gotcha Smack is willing to do that is something that I um, am very happy to see. Now, ultimately, this is just a drama-baited video to get people to watch you know, them when they covered Zenless Zone Zero and to create this artificial hype. Because if there's anything that Gotcha's um, need is drama. You know, it's not like they're not already ad addictive, gambling, um, daily chore games that require constant attention. No, they want you to also be overwhelmed by everything else going on in this space, right? So to keep you coming back, to keep you um, interested. So let's react to this part. We're only going to react to this initial video for the first half, and then we're going to transition over to the response of this video. And this is related to the Street Fighter Zenless Zone Zero collab that's official or leaked or something that's planned and it's gotcha smack basically saying that tectone's initial opinion was wrong and there's this back and forth that will happen once i go to the other video but here we go with well, let's start this and let's react to the first like couple minutes of this speak on a subject matter you just don't know about you don't know enough about it is in fact dishonorable when you speak up and pretend you know that which you do not these two things are what come to mind when i go into this subject uh, I actually am a bit baffled that it's even controversial because it should be a no-brainer that Zenless Zone Zero collaborating with Capcom is absolutely the best collaboration to do. There's just no question about it. There is a question about it. That's that's just wrong. It's just you you can't you can't say that it is just the number one collab. You just can't. Okay? Because the crossover for a strict fighting game, when when you do collaborations, you want to ensure that the guaranteed crossover is there. And you ensure per dollar spent, you understand that the audiences have a higher chance to cross over. This is the reason why you get platformer streamers to play other platformer games. Because it's much better for crossover. It is. And this is the reason why when I run Mad Mushroom, which is a video game publishing company, that is the reason why you would want to sponsor games that are similar but not the same, especially if they're also not competitors. When you get people to play a live service game when they're like, you know, for example, Nier Automata is a game you play once and then you can play a live service game because they won't compete because, well, they're not operating at the same time. When you take a look at Zenless Zone Zero and you have extensive knowledge and experience as a fighting... Okay, so let's just take that for what it is. That is just simply not true. If you want to know why I'm in a bad mood, it's because I really don't like doing shit like this. He's referring to reacting to his friends, which he considers Hex Juice, Gotcha Smack, and a couple other creators. I really don't enjoy doing anything like this whatsoever, okay? But for example, if you wanted to guarantee an audience of people that like burgers, you would sponsor people who you know already like burgers to try more burgers, not take a risk and try to get people who like salads to try a burger. Okay, and I find this, and this is why I wanted to react to this particular video. I find this so ironic coming from a person who is adamant playing games like Wither and Waves free to play to attract 
a white audience. As if to suggest trying to bring in people that never have played gotcha games to try out Wither and Waves. Not that different than what the Street Fighter Club would possibly be trying to do with bringing in players that have never played a gotcha to play a gotcha. Because if there's anything that I know about gotcha games is that if you actually are in this ecosystem and have been it, in it for a very long time, you know the pitfalls. You know the tried and true methods of gotcha. And at some point, it does get a little bit old and redundant. However, if you have new people, Tectone being free to play, bringing in new people. If you have people that come from Street Fighter, bringing in new people. If you have people that play, you know, um, Horizon Zero Dawn that came in because of Aloy, bringing in new people, they are susceptible. They feel like this is a fresh ecosystem. They have never seen anything quite like this. And they're willing to spend. They're willing to do a lot of these things. And now I know there could be Tectone coming back and saying, well, that's what I'm trying to protect them. I'm trying to protect the community. You're not protecting the community. Because if you were trying to protect the community, you play playing gotchas the way they're intended to be played, which is spending some money to deter new people from watching you. And yet you are saying it ironically, oxymoronically, now that Street Fighter is not a good collab for bringing in new people when, in essence, it's a great thing to bring in new people. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it every way. And that's the point of this reaction. Now let's get to the other aspect where Tectone or Gotcha Smack is going to push back on Tectone because... This is artificial drama, it's, and, and, and Tecton said he wasn't going to react to this. Maybe he wasn't, but his chat baited him and stuff like that um, to do so. But here we go. Yeah, let me see if I can, uh, let me, let's, let's get this face to face here real quick. Yeah, dude, I've, uh, I've learned more about Street Fighter VI uh, in the past 24 hours than uh, anything else I've ever uh, covered. Again, not knowing anything about the fighting game, not knowing anything about Street Fighter, and he speaks on it regardless. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> the the community really cares about this, and uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to talk about both perspectives. Uh, first of all, I, I, out of curiosity, uh, are you still pissed? I was really I'm pissed. Still, I'm still pissed, but... Okay, that's all good. Okay, so that's the preface, but it does actually get pretty heated in here, So, and the pushback is pretty hard, so I'm, I'm glad to see that even though it seems like it's just a game, it does actually get real here in a minute. Before, no, before we go any further, I, yeah. I definitely am still pissed, but I just want to clear the air about that so that we can move on. Sure. Before we go further, let's establish some very fucking important points here. Sure. You are a great fucking guy, and I am a great fucking guy. True. Okay, well, that is yet to be decided. Are you talking about great guys online? Because I can't speak to Gotcha Smack. I don't watch enough of his content, but I don't think Tectone's a great guy online and if you're speaking about people like your personal life no one can know that and if they do know that i question how they know that and why they know that and if they're your fan base it, what tactic you use to get them to know that how much are they being influenced by you so i don't know why this even matters <laughs> true we've, I agree. we've broken bread we've uh, yeah, they have. They are very close. They have met each other. I believe Gotcha Smack lives near Texas. Met each other. Or in Texas. In person, we have nothing but fucking love and respect for each other. And it should not have even got to this point. We both were complete fucking imbeciles in this, in this situation. No question uh, about it. Oh, yeah. I, I shouldn't have responded. So whenever you see Tectone actually perched like a bird on his chair, then you know he is uncomfortable and potentially needs to actually be on his a game like this is this is tectone trying to do five headed shit which he's not po which he's not capable of because he resorts to you know three basic words which is i can't even remember them but you know what they are if you're part of his community i to you he'll probably say a few of them and i'll try to Make it make a point. It's been a while since I covered Tecton like this. 
mm. and you should the fucking responded to me. We should have went to each other's DMs and said, "What the fuck are we doing here?" <laughs> yeah, no, hundred percent. I got to, I got linked uh, your Twitter post and or uh, no, yeah. your YouTube post, and people were so upset about it, yeah. like beyond upset about. It. Like I've never like once again, I've I've been egged on to make takes before, not for not to this caliber in a very long time. But mm -hmm. people were furious about this and being like, ah, oh, Street Fighter Six should never have been a collab. And I'm like, uh, all right, well, let's fucking talk into it. Let's see what so people are talking about. Uh, but yeah, I, I would like to first and foremost just say, man, I was, I have been in the worst mood I've ever been in in a very long time. So every time that tech tone is on the hot seat, automatically excuses come out. Caveats come out. Okay, period. There's never not a time where Tectone will not use some form of personal, professional, antidotal um, reason as to why he's acting the way he is. He's never, he's never doing it when he's perfectly healthy and normal and everything's going good. There's always something going on. And yeah. The, I'm not sure if you saw recently, I did a um, react stream to Legion's calling me out. And Legion's calling Hex Juice out. Uh, yeah, I did not react to this. I don't know what this is all about, so who knows? Um, I try not to get too involved, and I don't know who Legion is, and I don't want to. I don't want to bring in new people that I have not actually even met or or have watched. This was like three, four days ago, and that shit made me so fucking angry because I, I even said, and I told my chat, I don't want to react to this. Because I know it's going to cause... Yeah, but you fed your chat the prerogative. This is what you do, Tectone. Your audience is cultivated now to do this. They want this drama. This is what they feed on more than anything. You've built this. And maybe in some cases, you are telling me like a, as a parable... Like, don't, don't, don't build a community like this because you'll never escape it. Like, you're almost telling me as, a, as some advice because you're currently in this and you wish you weren't. Maybe that's it. Hate their way. And, you know, yeah. listen, I, I'm all for sending hate towards people who I fucking hate. Absolutely. Go for it, man. I'll do that shit all day. Uh, but I, I like Legions. I like X. I like you. But, uh, yeah, this has just been fucking nuts. So uh, I've done a lot of research in the past one hour and uh i'm excited to talk about this and uh yeah no we can listen we can if you want to talk about whatever you want to talk about we can but sure. i want to establish why i was pissed off in the first place Absolutely. okay so good let's get to the point i don't know if i'll go through this whole thing but i'm going to just highlight the the most important aspects of it Absolutely. now you told me that you saw that shinya made that comment or whatever in that in that recent video you were reacting to my video <coughs> You reacted to my video in the same exact fashion that you reacted to it when we butted heads in the past. Yep. Okay, and they do have a history of having drama, some of which was more serious, I, I guess, like um, a year ago um, when Tectone and Gotcha Smack were first introduced. And this was, again, Tectone basically looking at a small content creator and trying to use them or farm them for content. And then it just so happened that they became friends after, which is what this, which is what happens. Because if you're not friends with him, you're gonna get constant videos like Enviosity does. Obviously, Enviosity is a, a different, you know, example because he did throw in personal stuff, shade into the mix. But ultimately, and you know what, that stuff was on stream. That stuff was on stream that Enviosity used, so it wasn't even that private. It was it was still public. You were in a bad fucking mood. True. Grumpy as shit. True. Should have been off stream. Should have. <laughs> and you just you skipped eighty five percent, brother. You skipped eighty five percent of the video, and then you drew a conclusion that misrepresented my whole entire point of view. Um, and I agree with you. I think I did that one hundred percent because I was skipping because I really didn't want to react to it. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I would agree with that. And, and the thing is, I mean, I had watched his stream the other day and he didn't he did say he didn't want to react to, to the Street Fighter video that Gotcha Smack put out that that was a good thing. That Street Fighter collab was a good thing. Um, but like I said, he's cultivated this audience, this chat that wants this, that farms off this like dad talk. 
if I'm not there to represent my point of view, then it's just it, in a way, although I know you don't intend to do it because you're just you're you're a react streamer. It's I take it. As I wouldn't look into too much all the actual consumption of this beverage, but he's definitely going hard on it. I don't know if that's a nervous tick or not. As it's being done behind my back. And then there's a narrative. Me and you are very. I think it's probably a milkshake, and it's just so good that he wants to continuously drink it. Very influential. There's always a public narrative, and when you do something like that, and then misrepresent me, they're gonna take that shit and run with it. And by the way, I know you got a lot of hate your way from my video, and I fucking apologize for that. <laughs> I thought it but was fucking funny as fuck. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's the, exactly the point of view, though. It's like at the end of the day, that shit is annoying as well. And the same shit happens to me when you do something like that. In fact, the moment you do something like that, Tech, whatever you say in that video, I immediately start getting as comments in my fucking video. That's right. His comments, his chat will bleed over quicker than most, most other content creators. His chat is so loyal and so vigilant with their vitriol that it will happen immediately. And I'm just like... And, and here's the thing. The sad reality of this is it shouldn't be your response. I would like to see the ratio on his video and see if it got downvoted to oblivion. Responsibility to control what the fuck people say. But at the end of the day, we have influence and we have a responsibility. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Establishing causation. Good for you. Let's go. Correlation and causation, whatever you want to call it. To ensure that that influence isn't used in a bad way. But I don't appreciate... The I'm gonna watch Gotcha Smack's video, and I'm in a bad fucking mood. I mean, mood. I'm gonna dismiss every point he's made, and I'm just gonna tell him. I Absolutely. I don't think that's a good idea, and then conclude it as fighting game players don't give a shit about Gotcha games, and that Street Fighter Six mm -hmm. is the is not a good collab. When in reality, my whole point of view was Capcom is the good collab. That's why I like the Street Fighter Six talk but go ahead it looks like sure. you say something okay yeah so i think we're both missing each other's point here real quick um because first of all i would like to say that my fight my point of view is not that fighting game players don't give a fuck about gotcha games that's me reading a message from a chatter who's also my friend and i gave him a yeah true dude uh that's pretty much the whole spark why people think that i don't give a fuck about that what all i'm saying is i don't think street fighter 6 is the best collab for um Zemo Zone Zero, and the reason why is a documented failed history of collaborations with former games in the past, which I have with statistical data, uh, and also comparatively with Nier Automata having guaranteed success for multiple games in the gotcha sphere. Because, uh, like, for me, I don't like... Now, once again, I would like to acknowledge something else. I think your point is correct for very large industries, and I think I have a much more helping smaller industries maximize their... Um, spending versus the rewards they reap but i do think hoyoverse could just blow fucking money because they have money to fucking blow but i think i am very much on the let's be the most efficient with the money as possible and i think that's my uh, pointer i actually have some numbers pulled up if you want to show at any point let me know when we want to get down into it i have some actual fucking data here to actually show no, the history of street fighter collabs because no, uh, absolutely we can look at that but what yeah. i'm going to say is when you say i didn't say fighting game uh, players don't care about gotcha games only admitted to it tech i can only i can only react to what i see absolutely I can only say to what i see exactly and now when tectone is now walking it back a little bit which is what he always does again this is a common freaking tactic with tectone and it's never ending and this follows the atsu drama this follows the enviosity drama this follows the braxophone drama throughout that timeline Tectone has never admitted his faults, for the most part. Yes, he's obviously said that he's not the perfect person. He's no, he's no longer the, the angel of the community, that he's this dark sheep, you know, whatever you want to call it, whatever he calls it, okay, whatever. He's the bad boy of the, the gotcha scene, and that's what his persona is, and that nobody can be just clean anymore because that's not the reality of content creation. And, you know, obviously he wants to fulfill that narrative because – he wants everybody to think that they all have some shades of gray on them, which ultimately I agree. They do have shades of gray on them, but he's doing that for vindictive reasons to try to like lessen their community. So it bleeds over to his community. He's trying to literally suck you by all of the community into his. That's essentially what he's trying to do. See, and if you say, 
uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm taking that as an acknowledgement and an admission that you agree with it. You did the same thing on the community post and said, yeah, I think that's a fair take. So For when sure. I hear that, I can only react, because, and this is the problem of not talking mm -hmm. it out face to face. I, I can only fucking respond to what I see. I can't respond to what you're thinking right now in real time. Mm -hmm. You didn't say Yeah, that. which is always what he does, you know, and it's like the entrapment cause. As you can look at his eyes, uh, Tecton's eyes, well, even Gutcha Smack's eyes, I guess. This is when it turns a little bit more serious. Say that at the point. I only saw what you said. For sure. Same and, with the public. So. And I, I think it's the same with your community post that you put out 24 hours ago because I think there's a lot of very disingenuous things as well that uh, I don't think that you believe right now, but you probably wrote. Give me a point. Give me a point. Go for it. And, and yeah. I'm going to be completely honest. I have no idea what's what this is back and forth. Community post must have been pretty harsh. I think he got downvoted to oblivion. Like, it, as far as my experience with Tectone viewers is that they downvote people. And... The more successful you are, the more popular the video, the more downvotes you get. So chances are it's it was bad. Uh, he probably has a less than favorable um, in most of his other videos are favorable. So it's a bit of a an issue. And he doesn't want to fall victim to what Enviosity has to deal with, which is constant bullying and all these other communities because he knows how that feels as well. So I think he's trying to right the ship here. Honest, Absolutely. Right aside, ego side. Just give All me right. a point, and I'll let you know if I'm being disingenuous. Go for it. Sure, yeah, I'll pull it up. <laughs> All right, gotcha, smack. So you put out a community post. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad we're going in here. I, I do think they're interesting <laughs> on both sides. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna read out the community post. I'll give you the reason why I think it's disingenuous, and then okay. we can go from there. Yeah. So this was and I feel like this is, is going to be a point of, of, of irritation on your behalf. You're defending the irritation on your behalf. For sure. All right, so okay. Techzone got in his feelings about the reaction and crashed out. I don't think I crashed out, but I definitely was pissed off. Uh, I don't know what crashed out means. I'm assuming that it's like, you know, some form of like, yeah. I, I get what it probably implies. From pre-existing ordeals that I can't bring up on stream. Again, always resort into other things that do not involve this space. Um, just always like, and, and that's not to take anything out, uh, you know, away from the stressors that Tactone has. He's already mentioned, you know, I already made the video of the millionaire who sympathized with chat trying to get money. Like uh, any, any one of those things could have been his stressors for, you know, the other day. I get that, right? But again, this is the tactic that Tectone resorts to whenever there's any kind of pushback or trying to hold somebody accountable, which is my issue. Well, my issue with Asmongold, they never hold themselves accountable um, or, or it's very rare uh, okay. for context because they don't actually care about the content. They don't care about the community. They're just there to they're just there to create drama or to create topics that that are that are not agreeable that are divisive or at least align with their beliefs only and that's it started this shit by sticking his nose in my business by reacting to my video live and allowing his editor to upload it to youtube on top of that that's very good so first of all i have nothing to do with more tech tone whatsoever my editors just grab hey, this is the part where we're probably going to end the video soon because i wanted to get to this part specifically because this is such a cop-out fucking answer Ab shit from my stream and they upload it. We don't communicate whatsoever. I also have proof of that. No, no, but tech, yeah, tech, hold on. Let's mm -hmm. let's stop here. This sure. is again. This is not. This is so good. I love this. I love this. Gotcha, smack. Let's go. Holding yourself accountable. You not holding yourself accountable. Ugh. These words, I tell you right now, he needs to hear them so bad. You are giving them admission. And I'm, this is not trying, I'm not trying to turn this into an argument. This is okay, he's drinking. His eyes are pretty, are pretty dirty. This implies that he's waiting for a pretty bad interaction, which he does not like because his chat will turn on him. And he's looking at chat trying to see how, it, how they're reacting to this. This is factual. You are giving them admission the minute you go. His, his, I can see it. I can see his nervousness now because he knows he's being caught as we speak go live and say anything because you know they're going to take it and put it onto youtube did you see me ever go live and disagree with you publicly at any point in time in the entirety of our relationship 
for sure but i think i think for sure so uh gotcha smack's not reciprocal but we know that tectone is we because his community demands it even if he doesn't want to which he said he doesn't want to and i don't know i can't speak to his intentions either way but his community demands it and they demanded it this time you it w I think it's pretty fair to say mm -hmm. that Go for it. Go if for I it. wanted that to happen, if I wanted to farm that, I would have put it on my main channel. Okay. Okay. Cop out upon cop out upon cop out upon cop out upon cop out. Hey, but Tech, you're a big fucking streamer, brother. Mm -hmm. Streaming to one hundreds of thousands of people in a day. In a you are you are the biggest gotcha person in this space, and when new releases come out. You double, triple your audience and you leverage that. And normally that's when you create a lot of this drama as well, like what we're doing right now, up and leading up to Zen the Zone Zero. And yeah, it does affect people. Your community is toxic as fuck. The 6,000, 7,000 that you have concurrently um, without the need for additional people and how many you gain based off, you know, your views and your alpha male centric point of views. Yeah, it's toxic. It's been toxic. Today, yeah. not, in, not at a time. That is still an impressionable audience. That Thank you. You said it right. Impressionable. It's going to scatter like fucking uh, piccolos. There we go. Scatter like piccolos. Here we go. I don't know what that reference is, but I'll take it. Scatter ability and then go and gossip about the shit. There we go. Because they're good at that. Here we go. And it's going to be a, a hindrance and troubling on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. And look at him sitting there, sitting back. For sure. This is all I'm For sure. Agreed. Agreed. So he knows that this is the community that he has cultivated. He's acknowledged it. It does nothing to to try to quell it. Let's see if he does. We're not going to react to this much longer. What I'm trying to say, Tech, is me and you are influential as fuck. And because sure. we're intelligent, people take our words at face value and run with it. So yeah. no, I'm you not, have to be uh, responsible with what you're saying on stream. Go for it. Go right. for it. So I'm not saying it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> I didn't I didn't ask for it. You know what I'm saying? You do ask for it. You do ask for it. Because you know you are now culpable for your actions. Because you know that things can happen. Now, obviously, legally, you're not, you know, because nobody's gonna be able to connect the two, but um like you said, like Gotcha said, you both are intelligent. You know how this works. Okay? You know how this works. And you continuously try to weaponize it, in my opinion. I know. Yeah. I get it. And you know what? To be fair, on my half, if, you, if it didn't happen to your collection, fine. All I'm saying yeah. is, can we at least fucking be careful with how we're doing things on stream? When sure. is it regarding me? Because I'm a prideful <laughs> motherfucker too, Jack. Okay. So, and that's the acknowledgement that you can basically do it to anybody else but you can't do it to me because i will take it seriously and i'll take it you know personally and that's the part that i wanted to get at with this and um this is kind of like a a prequel to what's about to come out for my videos with tectone and i am not done covering tectone i've taken a quite a bit of a break um but i will be going through now that i've Caught myself with the Oxu Braxophone drama pretty much all the way. I plan on making a very long, very expanded video, and it's going to cover some real shit. It's going to go uh, to the heart of this that I needed to talk about that is going to get to all the cop-outs, all the excuses, all the things that Tectone has done throughout his career that has built him up to where he's at right now. And to be honest, it's not a very solid foundation. And I do not think he should be even allowed to um, be able to build on it until there is some accountability because he's affected many other people's lives. And I don't want anybody to affect his life and I don't want to cancel anything. But what needs to be done is a bit of fair wretch retribution and i'm going to try to provide that so stay tuned for more videos regarding tech tone but i wanted to provide this as a context to any videos that i continue to do on tech tone my name is Pazuka. if you like this content like subscribe i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye for now